Granary Library and welcome to Spring into Storytime. Today I'm going to read a book called The Puka Party and it's written by Shona Surly MacDonald. She also illustrated the book and it's published by O'Brien Press. So sit back and relax and let's get started. Now, listen carefully. I'm going to tell you about a magical creature called the Puka. It's a shapeshifter, which means it can take the shape of a goat, a cat, a dog, an eagle, a horse, a snail, a hare, or even a person. It likes living alone in the mountains where it spends its time. Fixing things, making soup, painting, singing, gardening and dancing all at the same time. But one day, suddenly, these things were not fun anymore. The puka was lonely. It hadn't seen its friends in ages. So it turned itself into a snail and hid away for a long time. Until it had an idea. Why not have a party? Dear fellow beings, I invite you to a puka party. There will be music and lots of cake. Address by the waterfall and near the huge boulder. Time midnight. The puka baked cakes, put up decorations, combed its beard and waited and waited and waited but no one came the puka was so sad and tired that it curled up and went to sleep so it didn't hear the door creaking open Everyone had come, after all. So soon they were so busy chatting and playing music that they didn't see the goblins, who were stealing all the cake. After them, cried the puka. Everyone dashed outside and tried to catch the goblins. But instead, it turned into a mighty cake fight. It got so noisy that they woke up the moon, who was not happy. The moon made the goblins say sorry. And then they all went back to the puka's house. Where the puka gave them delicious sparkly soup. The goblins too, as long as they promised to be good. When the party was over, everyone flew, scampered or galloped home. And the puka fell asleep. It wasn't lonely anymore. It was busy planning the next party. Thank you very much for joining me today. And we'll be back again with some more Spring Into Storytime stories. Mm -hmm.
Thank you.